when housing goes out to inspect homes initially, uh, we require that the landlord be on city water. We ask him to show a bill, we look for a, a water meter to ensure that that is in fact the case. You pretty much know what you get when you get the, uh, the city water at your house. What you don't know is you don't know what you get when you have the well water. Safety measure to ensure that uh, the water that you're getting is the best quality that it can be. You have to ensure that the landlord is enforcing those provisions in your lease that uh, housing office has put there and the Navy has put there to protect you. So if you have any questions about it, let housing know. Work with your landlord. Ask him, you know, what's the deal? You know, look around. Look at your water system. Find out if, if it looks like there's a well. If you suspect there is and you're on well water, get housing to come out and we'll take a look at it and determine whether or not that is in fact the case because we can you know we can work with them to get them to switch back to your city water if the landlord doesn't understand you doesn't know what's going on we have instructions in english and italian that uh, says what's required to do how the tank should be clean in accordance with our standards which is what the what the landlord signed up uh, committed to you, the tenant, to do when you sign the lease because it's in that lease provision. So we can help you with, you know, the paperwork of uh, the instructions of how to clean it. If we have to, we can call the landlord on your behalf and get him to do it. If you bargain a, one of your benefits away in your lease and uh, you get some money back from your landlord, technically what you have to do is go back to PSD go back to the housing office, modify your agreement so that you're not getting overpaid. If you don't do that, especially if you're here for a very long period of time, you could be charged with defrauding the government. Several upgrades in the works. Uh, one is the new awnings that are being installed on the support site apartments. If yours is already damaged and worn, you can call housing at the treble desk number 4285, 629-4285 or 4286. There has been some recent incidents of vandalism, uh, both on the playgrounds and in the housing area. So uh, we've got to just be good stewards of our, of our facilities here. They're only allowed uh, in the housing area uh, and, the, and the dog run. They're not allowed at the NEX commissary. They're not allowed at the schools area. Pets aren't allowed at the village forum or the playground areas. And it's for the safety of, of all. Security will write them up and they'll, they'll put them down in what's called an animal incident report. And if you get, uh, you know, a couple of an animal incident reports, that gives me cause um, to, uh, to act against you and take action. And that can include anything from restricting of privileges to kicking you off the support site to, um, you know, other administrative actions uh, for the service members.